Hello, welcome to Wally Wire. And today I've got, well, I've got a house of string. So a little short string for literally four rise and just three treads. And I'm using my homemade um, steer rotor jig, which I've shown, I think I've done a video before actually making this thing. And it's only very simple, a few bits of wood and glued up and what have you, to create a slot for which the rotor, with its guide, in this case, that little guide there, sits in that slot and it prevents the cutter from cutting the guide. So it, basically all you do is following the, the jig, the rotor jig for the stair. Now you can buy the trend ones and what have you, and you know, Axman's to do one, and oh, you get various ones, even screw fix, I think you can make one or supply one. But anyway, there's no need, I just, I just make my own. So I don't make many staircases in a year anyway. So I'm about to spend the money on that. So this is just the job I need to do. Anyway, I'm going to cut this other string. I've done that one there. As you can see, it's got little slots in there for the treads and the risers. And like I say, it's only got three treads, four rises. There's hardly anything. And what I do is I mimic the measurements on both sides. So basically I draw a stair shape on here. As you can see there. I draw a stair shape on the, the, the string. And uh, it's mimicked from one to the other. Now you can do it with stops and what have you on your stair jig from, you know, you let just reposition each time as you move up and they'll be in exactly the right place. But it's only a short one anyway, so I just drew it on. And then just copied it over. So the fact that that's a mirror, that, that'll be a mirror image of this one. So this will be a mirror image of that one. Anyway, I'm going to do it now anyway. So all I do is I grab my little jig. I marry that up onto my lines, and it gives me about 3 mil clearance. I've got this fence that I put on the back here. It's just it's clamped on, and that allows me to do it on either face, so it's reversible. So you get the right and left string. But equally, all I do is I just grab the um, jig, line it up, grab a screwdriver and a screw, and I literally just screw that on there like so. Into the place where it doesn't matter. With a screw, that's long enough. That's the wrong screw. Do, 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 do. That's embarrassing. Get another screw. Screw, screw. Where is it? There we go. Let's that one. That'll do. That'll do. Anyway, I've got to line that on with it. Get that out of the way. Like so. And make a screw in. So, anyway, that's screwing onto the outside. So, I can't go anywhere. And it's in a place where you're not going to see it because it's a, clo it's a closed staircase. Um, so you're not going to see it anyway. So I don't care if there's a few screw holes in there. There's a bit of finished off to do on these um, strings anyway. They're only laminated strings out of all crap. <laughs> but, so um, now I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate with it out. But there's a couple of little things I want to show you. One is my Makita rotor here, it doesn't really lend itself to extraction or dust extraction when you're doing the stair, you, stair jig or when you actually routing the houses for a stair string. Um, we, this doesn't clear, these holes there where the guide is, it's not enough there to remove the, or the holes aren't big enough to remove the waste with the suction. So I created this weird thing on the side here, if you're wondering what that is. It's literally my dust extraction port. So I place that on there like so, with my vat sitting on there like so, and literally, I just while I've got that positioned over the top of the slot, it's sucking out the waste as I go. And it works really well. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'm going to come and put the old shop vac on. So I haven't got the switched shop vac. No, I haven't. It's just got to switch it on. And I am going to bring you a little bit closer. You can see my ugly mug. There we go. Put that back right in it. That'll do. So now what I've got to do now, I've set the height on these stops. I've made sure that I don't, uh, well, the, the limits are set as well. And all I do to set the, the depth of cut, I'll, I'll push the router down to the, the actual screen like so. And whatever distance is in there is how deep the actual um, housing will be. So whatever distance between that stop and the adjustment, in this case, it's a finger, so that's like 10 centimetres, 10 millimetres, sorry. Or what's that, like 3.8? And that's how deep it'll be. That's it's deep enough for this one. Three little time string. Ooh. 
Zenith there, so let's bring it in a bit closer. Let's try to be greedy. You can see there the slot there that we're creating. Effectively, it's about uh, one and a half or three mil or whatever it is from the edge of the guide. And whatever's left is going to be the size of the housing. There you go, I've managed in a very quick time put a couple of houses in, in this string ready for well, the last one on the end here. So anyway, that is my little jig regarding uh, well, routing out the stair housings on a closed uh, staircase, you know, one with risers, you know, backs. And it seems to work really well. Um, the dust extraction is not perfect and so it still throws it everywhere, but the, the idea was is to keep the slots for the how or keep the housings clear while I actually route work. So it works for that fine. Anyway, thank you for watching, you most kindly because I'll like and subscribe and maybe click the little bell icon because then I you'll get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket and that'll be me uploading another video. Oh look, that's my light. Let's go back again. <laughs> God this workshop's a mess. Anyway, thank you for watching.